This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, I'm Adiris Babb. Thanks for joining us. Catherine Herr has the night off. Topping our news tonight, California becomes the first state with more than 5 million known coronavirus infections since the start of the pandemic. The state dashboard reported the numbers today. They were delayed because of the holiday weekend. To date, the state has recorded more than 75,000 COVID-related deaths. Here in the Valley, Kings County is reporting its first cases of the Omicron variant. The health department has confirmed four total cases. CBS 47, Karen Alvarez joins us in the studio. Karen, do we know if these people were vaccinated? Well, public health did not release any information on the severity of their symptoms or whether the individuals were vaccinated. The best tools against COVID-19 are vaccination, masking, and isolating at home when you're sick. That is the message Kings County Department of Public Health wants its residents to know after identifying its first four cases of the Omicron variant in the county. For Hanford resident Marty Lewis, the news doesn't shock him. You know, it, it's not surprising, uh, especially after the holidays. There's been more people traveling. There's, you know, people spending time with family. Uh, things are going to spread. Dr. Kenny Bond with the University of California, San Francisco, says he expects the Omicron variant to be the dominant variant as more and more cases are identified. It's looking like it's probably significantly more infectious, so that's the biggest concern. That's easier to spread to people, and it can even be spread amongst people who are vaccinated and boosted. About a week ago, Fresno County ID'd its first case of the Omicron variant in a person that was fully vaccinated. A couple days later, and Tulare Public Health detected its first case of the Omicron variant. Tulare residents like Joan Quadra advocates for more testing and urges people to follow safety protocols. Oh, we've been warned. This is coming. It's like we're in denial. Come on. This is a worldwide pandemic. According to Kings County health officials, wearing a mask and being fully vaccinated continues to be the best protection against COVID-19 and its variants. As we allow them to multiply, they make permutations and mutations, and eventually they have big shifts, which we call the variants. And for a list of vaccination sites, you can head to our website at yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting in studio, Karen Alvarez, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.